video I'll describe a couple of ways to make some improvements on the arm and wing. First of which is how to apply a cap to the end of the wing so that it's nice and covered. And the second is an improvement on the way that you apply the tape over the hinge across the trailing edge of your control surface so that it's nice and tapered and aerodynamically clean. Applying an end cap to your wing is a good way to keep it uh, sealed and protected. It also showcases the nice arm and wing that you've made with a true airfoil and it keeps the edges uh, waterproofed and helps protect against wear. Whereas an open wing like this can permit some uh, debris to get inside the wing. It can allow the paper and the tapes to start to peel. There are a few materials you can do this with. You can of course use the foam board itself with the paper peeled off both sides, which is the most straightforward solution. You can use color on the end with the packing tape, although it's a little more difficult to deal with. You can also use Depron, which is a little, little thicker, a little chunkier. I just happen to have a batch of this that I bought and never use anymore, so I'll use it for wingtips. Now, before proceeding, remember you're going to install servos inside your wing, and you'd like them to be rest right up against your foam board formers, which are effectively your spars, so you prefer not to cut into those. So in order to cut the hole for the servo, we need to know where these formers are after we've capped the wing. So I just make a little mark at the rear of the former on the outside where you'll still be able to still be able to see the mark after you've applied the cap. Next provide yourself with a piece of uh, material, foam board, Depron or whatever with a nice straight edge and just match up your airfoil right against that edge and with a pen just trace out the airfoil like this. And that's the left wing tip, so I'm going to mark that L, and I know that that L is going to face the inside of this wing tip. Now I'll cut those out with a nice clean blade, then go ahead and check the fit of the cap against the wing. Sand that down against a smooth surface wherever needed on both sides. Next, use your trusty hot glue to put it a little, and now you have a nice clean, protected wing tip cap with your mark still in place so you know where to put your servos al along that line and rearward of it. In the first arm and wing construction video I described a way of applying the hinge tape and just simply wrapping it around the trailing edge to join with the top. Similarly to applying tape like this and then just wrapping it over and folding it over, which works fine but it sometimes gets a little wrinkled and detaches occasionally from the undersurface of the control surface. It leaves a little bit blunter edge. Um, is somewhat foolproof, but not quite as slick as it could be. The revised method allows you to apply the hinge tape on the bottom surface and the top surface and have them actually meet at the trailing edge to provide a really thin knife edge trailing edge. Uh, it's a little more difficult to execute, but when, it's, when done, it stays very smooth. It stays well attached to the foam and uh, looks a little better, I think. Now if you think about it, if you just throw some tape down on this, the way these, this surface and this surface converge at the end, it allows a lot of opportunity for the tape to stick to itself prematurely before you get it nice and smooth. So what I recommend doing is putting the top layer of tape first, and I'm gonna use the same color yellow packing tape, and if the, your control surface is less than the width of your tape, plus another quarter inch or so for the trailing edge, Go ahead and cover your hinge again so you have another layer of plastic for durability. So now I've applied another stripe of the yellow tape on the top surface of the control surface, being sure to leave at least about a quarter inch on the trailing edge, which will engage the tape which is applied from the bottom, and going all the way down to the end. And I've done this in the identical fashion as in the uh, original video for covering foam board using a uh, a gift card to smooth it down nicely. Now the bottom surface is a little more critical. If the width of your roll of tape is sufficient to start on the airfoil itself to make the hinge go over the control surface and still permit a, about an eighth or a quarter inch overlap, you can do this in one step. If your control surface is bigger than about an inch, 
you'll usually need to put one piece as your hinge tape and then a second piece as your overlap to form the trailing edge. But just be sure you do have some overlap for the trailing edge to engage the top surface tape. Now the hardest part of this is as you apply the bottom surface tape here on the flat surface is to keep your control surface folded back and out of the way so that the tape on the top surface and the tape on the bottom surface do not touch prematurely. I recommend a very very clean non-stick surface um, that you can actually fold the control surface up against the top surface when you go to apply this bottom tape. Then you can proceed to form the hinge just as in my original video just by folding that over and down into the little hinge valley. Now you can see as you bring the bottom tape up and over the control surface it has a tendency to want to pucker away from the top surface and that's, that's a good thing actually. So when you get up pretty close about halfway over the control surface where this tape is thinking about touching the other one go ahead and lay it down flat and then you can use your gift card like this to very carefully feather it down the bottom surface tape to meet the top surface tape in a very clean, precise fashion. Now one of these sides of tape usually overlaps the other one significantly. In my case it actually came up almost even. If you have an overlap, take the overlapping tape so that the adhesive is facing down and put it on a flat, clean surface like this and actually use the tape to stick it down to that surface like this. That way you can place a straight edge right on the tape like that when you go to cut it and the adhesive will hold itself in place. What I'm going to actually have to do is take an additional piece of tape to tape this down to the surface to get that nice precise clean edge. So here I've used a piece of clear packing tape to actually tape the whole trailing edge down to the surface so that will allow me to put this straight edge very precisely where I want it to cut. Now I'll just pull off that excess clear tape that I used to hold it down. So now we're left with a nice clean smooth trailing edge that